Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and I am a reseller. I sell on Poshmark Mercari and on eBay. And today this video is going to be a thrift store haul video of stuff that I picked up to sell in my stores. So all of these items I think I picked up in two different trips, but I did get a ton of items this time. Um, the shoes were really great. I also picked up some awesome hard goods and some accessories as well as some clothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and split this video into, or split this haul into two different videos. So the first video I am going to do shoes and some clothing. And then the second video I'm gonna do all of the hard goods and accessories with the rest of the clothing. So there'll be a part one and part two to this video. So a good section of this haul is new to me brands that I was really excited to pick up to try out in my stores. Some of these brands are only new to me just because I have never found them out in the wild before, so that was pretty exciting. And then some of the brands were actually new to me. I have never even heard of them, but I did do a quick Google search while I was in the store and saw you know, decent comps or liked what I saw, so I went ahead and picked up the items. So I am excited. I do love adding new brands to my store just to try, try and test them out to see how well the resale does on these brands. And I think I got some really cute pieces too, so I'm excited to show them to you. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shoes and then we'll get into the clothing here behind me. So I did find quite, I mean, I found a good amount of shoes. I did find 12 pairs of shoes, so that was really exciting. I love selling shoes in my stores. Shoes is one of my highest profitable items that I do sell, so if I can find really good brands and shoes in good condition, I will definitely pick them up. So this first pair is a pair of J. Crew flats. I have sold this pair of flats before. I don't think I've ever sold them in this purple color, um, but I have sold them in a couple other different colors. I may have sold them in purple, I'm not sure. But these tend to do really well for me between the 20 and $25 range. These ones are in really good condition and they are a size eight and a half. Okay, this next pair of sandals I picked up, these are Lucky Brand. I love finding Lucky Brand shoes. Again, they do really well for me. Um, some of the sandals and stuff will sell between the $20, $25 range, and then some of their boots will actually go for a little bit more, around $35, $40. This pair of sandals, unfortunately, does not have a size anywhere on them. I've searched everywhere. It was probably a sticker or something on the bottom that has come off. However, they do fit me, so I'm guessing they're around a six or six and a half, but I probably will just keep these because um, I can't be sure of the size, so. But I definitely like those, so I don't mind keeping them. Um, this next pair I was really excited to find. I love selling this brand. So this is Corky's, definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for. Super cute sandal. And I love the teal color and tan with these. I think these are a size 10, which is a great size, and they are in really, really good condition. So I will probably get around $40 for these sandals. This next pair of, these are some mules that I found. Very in style right now, just a classic black suede with this like patent leather strap across the front. This brand is Alex Marie which I'm not sure if I've ever sold this shoe brand before, but I loved the style of these mules. I just think they are so perfect. They're a size eight and a half, and yeah, you can wear these to work. You can definitely wear these on a casual day. Just a great all around shoe. And I know that mule style is very popular right now. These are some mini Tonkas which I actually have a hard time finding this brand in good condition. A lot of times when I find this brand, they're very worn and I end up leaving them behind. So I was excited to find these cute little wedges. Um, they have that very like boho, you know, fringe vibe to them with the cork wedge there. And they're also in really good condition. I believe these are a size six and let's see. They are leather upper. It does not say a style name on there, but size six, very cute. And I'm not sure what I'll price those at, but I'll probably, um, probably around the $30 mark. 
These are some Steve Madden espadrille wedges. Very boho as well. I love the colors on these. And they're in pretty good condition as well. A little bit of wear on the bottom, but nothing major. And these are called the P Sandal. And they're a size eight. Okay, now we're gonna get into some more like boots. Um, this pair of booties, I was so excited to find. I think these are absolutely adorable. So they have that kind of distressed suede look. When I looked up the model picture, um, it looks like this is how they were intentionally, wow, it's washing me out. It looks like that's how these were intentionally made to look. They are called the Tug Booties and they are by Eileen Fisher. And these are in great condition. Super, super cute, uh, size seven and a half. And I will probably get at least, um, I would say f at least $55, maybe even a little more for these. Eileen Fisher boots tend to do really well for me. Okay, this pair was probably my pa favorite pair that I found as far as style goes. I absolutely love, the love these. So they are made to look distressed like that, even the dark, um, discoloration right here that's actually how they were made so the model pick has that on there as well so I was very excited to find these so the brand is Diva True I have them stuffed with paper but Diva True and these are the Inkaway booties and I'm not sure what size they are they're a size 9 so great size I did see a pair that sold on Poshmark for $95. I think these originally retailed for, let's see, I wrote some of this down. So these are re originally retailed for $139. And I did see a pair in used condition that sold for around $95 on Poshmark. So that was very exciting. I'm hoping to get at least 65 for them. Okay, I found these Steven by Steve Madden studded little sneakers. I thought these were absolutely adorable. They do need to be cleaned a little bit on the bottom, but other than that, they are in great condition. These are a size six and a half, and they are called the Smash. So the style is the Smash studded sneakers. Super adorable. And those are in my size. They may end up staying in my closet. I'm not sure yet. Okay, this next pair of boots, super cute, perfect for the fall. These are Vince Camuto. I have these stuffed, but you can see in there. So Vince Camuto, another brand that I like to pick up in shoes. Love the studded detail. Cute little buckle strap with the logo on it there. And then they also have this um, like little metal detail on the back here, and it says Vince Camuto. There is a little bit of scratching on this but nothing terrible. A little bit of wear right here as well. Other than that, they're in really, really good condition. And these are called the Wendetta Studded Moto Boots. They originally retailed for $168. I'm hoping to get around 65 for them. And I thought they were perfect for the fall. I don't know if I mentioned the size. So these are also an eight and a half. <clears throat> Okay, two more pairs. So I found this pair of Kate Spade, just a patent leather sandal with this little platform here. I know the platform was really popular this summer, so I'm hoping these will still do well. I know summer's kind of coming to an end, but I couldn't pass up on, you know, Kate Spade shoes. These are a size seven, super cute. A Little bit of wear on the bottom as well, but the upper part looks great. I'm not sure what I'll price these at, probably around the $70 mark, depending on comps for that style. Man, I am just getting washed out today. Um, this pair of sneakers I thought was really cool. I loved the zigzag look on the bottom. So these are, um, what are they? Donald J. Pliner Sport. So it's a little worn off on the inside there but just a very expensive you know designer brand i thought these were just really cute um, with the zigzag sole on them i don't know so i thought somebody would really like these i think these were also half off which was another reason i picked them up they're a size eight and a half as well and i'm not sure i'm hoping to at least get around 35 maybe 40 dollars for these shoes 
Man, I am just getting washed out in this video. All right, guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into some of the clothing pieces that I found. Um, I probably won't give you guys comps on what I will list some of these at just because I'm not too sure on a lot of the pieces. But if you do wanna check out my closet, I will link my Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay stores down below. So you can pop on over there if you wanna see what I'm listing these items for. I don't have everything in this haul listed yet. I have probably about half of the items listed. So if there's something that you're not finding in one of my stores, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I will definitely tag you and let you know once the item is up and listed. So this first item that I found is this beautiful pair of Athleta leggings, size medium, so a great size, beautiful colors, and these honestly feel like they have never been worn. They are in amazing condition, so I was super excited to find those. <clears throat> okay, this next pair of jeans, these are Free People, size 26, and they are just a high rise, high rise, skinny fit, jean which is super in right now that seems to be the most popular style of jean and with the fall coming up um, i did want to stock my store with some new jeans so i found a few pairs you'll see a couple in this haul and then i'll have some in the next haul as well so this is a new to me brand of jeans but i wanted to try this out so it's mavi jeans And the resale value looked decent on these, so I thought I would give them a shot. They are a skinny fit. I think the style is called the Alexa Ankle Mid-Rise Skinny. And yeah, I just thought they were pretty cute, so I thought I would give them a try. These are a size, I don't know what size they are. Oh, they're a size 26. Okay, one of my go-to bread and butter favorite brands to find is Patagonia. This is just a really nice pair of outdoor hiking pants in great condition. The bottom here, you can actually roll them up and kind of make them a capri style. They have like a little snap there, or you can leave them longer. But these are in great condition. There's really no wear even on the bottoms of the pants, so I was really excited to find these. They are a size 10, so a great size as well. And these outdoor style pants always do really well for me. Okay, this next item is a pair of Lily Pulitzer size eight. Just a really cute, bright, fun pattern short. So I thought these were a great size. I really love the color pattern. Um, so wanted to add that to my store. I know summer is coming to an end, but I will pick up items all year round. You know, it doesn't really matter the season to me. If I find good items for a good price, I will definitely pick them up. This next pair of pants is level 99. And these are super cute. So I was really excited to find these. I do like selling level 99. It does pretty well for me. It is a brand that is sold through Anthropology, And let's see, these jeans are called the Francis Lacey Double Welt Zip Trousers. And they are a size 27. They look super cute on the model pick, which is another reason I picked them up. So they do kind of taper into a skinny like ankle fit. And then the bottom has like a little slit detail on the side. I thought these were a great like career style pant as well. So you can definitely wear these like on a casual, you know, day out to, you know, brunch with some friends, or you can wear these to the office. I just think they're a really great pant. So I wanted to give those a try. Those pants originally retailed for $108. So I don't know, I'll probably get around 35 for them. This next pair, so this is one of those new to me brands that I was very pleasantly surprised with the uh, re retail value and the comps. So this is the brand Patrizia, let's see, Patrizia Pepe, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I'm probably not. And they are just a beautiful pair of faux leather, high-waisted pants in this like silver metallic color. They have a really cool black and white stripe down the side. 
They also have like this scrunchy stirrup detail at the bottom, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah, and the back is really cute as well. They are in amazing condition. They look awesome on the model pick. So these originally retailed when I looked them up for $159 and yeah, so I was pleasantly surprised with that. So I think items like these are gonna be the kind that sit in your closet for a little while. They're gonna require the right buyer to come along to purchase them, um, but I'm okay with that. So definitely something I wanted to pick up and try out in my store. Same thing with these pants. I think these are another like high-end designer pant. I think that you know they're, it's just gonna have to sit and wait for the right buyer to come along, but somebody will eventually come along and absolutely love these. So this was a brand I have heard of, but I have never found. So this is Isabel Morant Itole, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Really cute chambray style pant with this really pretty floral detail all throughout. They have these cute like adjustable buckles on the back. And these pants originally retailed for $260. And they are in amazing condition. So really, really excited to find those. All right, so now we're gonna get into some of the dresses and tops that I found. So this is also a new to me brand, but I thought this was absolutely beautiful it's this black cold shoulder long sleeve high neck dress with this beautiful embroidery all throughout and this brand is lucy love this is a size small and i think let's see this is called the jenna embroidered dress and this was actually sold through lulu's which is a brand that i like to pick up and this dress originally retailed for 81 dollars but absolutely gorgeous. I love finding dresses with embroidery on them, so I thought I would give that one a shot. This is a Zara knit, which I am a little bit picky with the Zara pieces I picked up, but I really liked this one. So Zara knit, size small, just a really nice, lightweight, basic piece to put in your closet. It's very soft. It has these deep slits on both sides, which I thought was really cute. Um, yeah, so I just, I like picking up some basics like this and putting them in my closet. I think the care tag was cut out, so I'm not sure exactly the fabric content, but it does feel very soft, very nice. Okay, this next dress, also a brand I have heard of, but I don't believe I've ever picked it up. I do think I have seen this brand before and left it behind just based off of style or wear, but this is Lay Liss, if I'm saying that correctly, made in the USA. I do think this is an anthropology brand, but I'm not 100% sure. I will definitely have to check on that, but absolutely love this dress. So it has this really pretty black and white stripe and then it has kind of like this wrap around waist here with some ruching on the sides and a nice flowy skirt. This is about a meaty length dress and it is a size small. I wanted to go ahead and try this out. I just thought this was a really pretty dress. This next piece, also a new to me, new to me brand. So this is Love Stitch also a size small. I am not sure if this originally came with a slip dress underneath. It is just a sheer lace, long, long um, like tunic dress, has these beautiful bell sleeves. The embroidered lace detailing is gorgeous. I love the flowers, the little swirl pattern all throughout, has the zipper detail in the back. So I did see some similar that were sold without a slip underneath. I could not find this exact style, so I'm not sure how it originally was sold, but I still thought, you know, you could add your own slip underneath this. You could wear this over a swimsuit and that would look beautiful, you know, out on the beach. So definitely a lot of things you can do with this. You can wear like a, a tank top underneath it with some shorts to like a festival. 
just um, a ton of possibilities. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this up as well just because I do think it is so beautiful and I think it'll do well in my store. So we'll see how that does. This next brand is RYU, which I also believe is an anthropology brand. This is a size large, just another beautiful lace top. It just has so much going on with like the cinched waist, the pretty lace hanging out the bottom here and the layered detailing. It has kind of these wide dolman sleeves that have this braided um, little, I guess, tie string here. So, so much going on with this top and I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. This is um, the RYU crochet blouse and it originally retailed for $99. So definitely a really pretty piece that I think will get lots of attention and do well in my store. This next dress, again, another new to me brand. So this is In Cream Denim. Another piece that I thought was definitely worth putting in my store with the fall coming, these denim you know, popover style dresses I think will do really well. I actually just sold one, I think yesterday. So I was excited to find this one. Um, I love the floral embroidery, which is actually down both sleeves. So very, very beautiful. And this is a size small. So super cute piece for the fall. Definitely a style to be on the lookout for. This next top is Joie. So again, I am a little bit picky with this brand, size small, um, but I will pick up some of their silk pieces, especially pieces like this with the novelty print. So this one just has the champagne glasses all over it. So this tank top probably originally retailed for over $100. Joie is a pretty expensive brand. Um, I have sold some of the silk tops for over $30 in the past. Um, because this one has the novelty print, I do think I can get a little bit more for it. I did see one that sold on Poshmark for I think $70, which I'm not sure if I will get that much, but that would be really nice. So definitely excited to find that. And this one's in great condition. Okay, two more pieces. So this is a Top Shop dress. I think it's called, it's called the Cross Front Skater Dress. So very beautiful color. The back has this really cool like crossed ring detailing and just a skater style dress. This dress, when I did look it up, was featured in quite a few different TV shows. So that was really cool to see. There's the tag. It's a US size four. So I just thought this was really pretty. I love the color. And then the last piece I have here is a chambray style dress. It has the smocking at the waist here, some really big deep pockets. This is a good piece that I think you can definitely transition into fall. You can layer a flannel over this and still look really cute. If it is a little bit warmer, you can tie the flannel, you know, around your waist. The back of this dress is absolutely adorable. So it has this cute little tie detail with this open back look. And the tag on this one was missing, but I just knew by the style that this was, you know, that I wanted to dig a little bit deeper and figure out where this dress came from just because I really love the style. So I went down here to the care tag and found out it was Seven for All Mankind, which is a denim brand that I do like to pick up in certain styles. Um, yeah, so I was really excited. It does not have the size anywhere on this, but I did try it on. It fits like an extra small slash small. Um, I think with the smocking, you know, it can definitely stretch quite a bit. So I would say extra small, small. I did put the measurements in my listing so that, um, you know, people can check the measurements before they purchase just because the size tag is missing. But definitely excited to find that piece as well. All right, guys, so that is the end of part one of this haul. If you want to stay tuned, um, I will be uploading part two to this haul in the next day or two. So be on the lookout for that. Please hit the little subscribe button down below if you haven't already. That way you can get notified when my new videos do get posted. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up on the way out. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.